They'll be calling you radical. I'm in Memory Grove. I'm standing at the... There's so many great memorials in here. I just came back from my... LDS Hospital is right up there on the corner. My room that I looked down. You can see those videos. Looking at the Utah State Capitol. Right here. This is where the very first Mormons landed. My ancestors. My amazing uncle who raised me. Who stood on Omaha Beach on D-Day. Battle of the Ball. It's incredible. Famous. famous. He passed away today. You know, I get my life extended. As Paul, one of my close friends who fought this exact disease, our childhood friends, and so many of us in Utah has died of this evil freaking disease, said, Kevin, he was in our YouTube site every day. He'd say, Kevin, we're all terminal, and we're all going to die. And these nuclear pricks, these no good motherfuckers, it's not going to bode well for them, whatever. I don't care what ism you fall into. I believe life is a test. I really do believe it. My way of fighting is people turn their back. I got to see my beautiful nurse and someone in my Whitney. I got to hug her and kiss her today. It was real emotional in there today. I got the best counts I've had, 126. I went in there, I was so sick. You know, rant and rave, anti-nuclearism. And then I get leukemia incredible incredible story this hallowed hallowed sacred ground as I would walk down here and pray and meditate this is the Korean War wall how great is this we have a monument in our cemetery the only monument in the world for the atomic veteran my father he's up at the top Supreme Sacrifice, he died of leukemia. All these leukemia victims here in Utah were the cancer capital of the world. You people that propagate this and think, oh, nuclear is okay, and I like how they'll quote studies. And they'll say, oh, the fish are safe to eat in Florida, but they won't quote anybody. They have no source because there are no sources to quote. We have to rely on what we have. I've read the only ones that are out there. They say it's not safe. The Pacific Genocide is very, very real. These fake masquerade, mass murderers in hairspray that sit in that building and call themselves anything to do. They, they call themselves Christians. The word Christian. Megan Rice is the only true Christian I know. They're the, everything's upside down. There's the guy who's pepper sprayed them in the face. Got You know, that comes out more money. As It comes out that Merkel was being... Listening to Snowden, the real patriot that we have, Snowden. We look what we do to him. You know? Wow. We're our own worst enemies. As we're being mass murdered by nuclearism. Here's my scar. And I say educate yourself. This is science fiction economics. My Fukushima fish hook in me. That treatment was so brutal and horrific. Because those beautiful people saved my life in that hospital. And I'm like... They're like, Kevin, what are you doing with yourself now? I says, I'm fighting the no goods that gave me cancer. Full time. Full time. Fighting for the little guys. You know? Yeah. George Wallen. My uncle was friends with him. Pretty amazing story, this whole gig. So I would come down here and meditate and pray with my central line hanging out of me. I had no chance. The survival rate of what I have is 3%. Got the best counts I've had. I'm doing this alternatively. Yeah, I got chemo the bejesus out of me. So many people are taken back at my ways and they hate my ways. Good, I don't give a fuck. You know, the old school anti nuclear advocate, go back to sleep. Where you been for the last 30, 40 years? You haven't done anything. You lost this war for us. Here's the meditation temple. How great is this? I come here and meditate and pray while I was six. Sneak out there out of the hospital down here in this sacred hallowed ground. How can anybody say that Fukushima is not murder? People are so ignorant, they think that it's just going to have to be waves of people just dropping dead in their face. That's how posture and groom. Oh, the economy, the economy, when they've already wiped out all your money. You know, the economy crashed a long time ago. As you people in London, in Ireland, in Scotland, they're burning the waste at 
Oak Ridge in Tennessee. Energy Solutions, the other site right out here. They're burning the waste. How great is this place? These are all... World War II guys. They're burning the waste. These masquerade, mass murders, and hairspray that call themselves Mormons and Evangelicals, they're devils. It's upside down. The whole world's upside down. You are your own worst enemies. You, want, you all turn against me. It's pretty amazing. The so-called anti-nuclear, they're not anti-nuclear. They're war profiteers. You make me sick. This is my favorite one. This is where the early Mormons came, and they would pray, but so much more than that. Remember, Grove is so much more than the early Mormons, which right there where I was getting my treatment, you'd look down out of the hospital. That's right where the Mormons landed, right where LDS is. This is my favorite one, though, of all of them. I love this marker. This is World War I. This is World War I, you think about it. We took that inbred royal family out. We left one standing. You know, you guys worship them. Oh, look at their little baby, Jean George. How great is this? You support your very repressors. Is The United States is nothing but the Queen's Army. We are the American colonialists. The English colonialism never stopped. You know, we're spying on Merkel and all of them. Of course we're spying because we are the, we are the, I pledge allegiance to the United States of nuclear. We are jolly old England, 1774, the return of King George. I wrote that 10-10-10 long before I got leukemia. It's a hardcore anti-nuclear long before I ever got leukemia. Rant and rave, Fukushima's gonna give you leukemia, then I get leukemia. You've been able to watch my fight. I survived against all odds. You know, oh, we're gonna pull the fuel out of number four. Really, really, you're gonna pull the fuel out of four? The fuel already went out of number four, it's all over. So then they can say, oh look, we saved the world. They're not doing anything because they don't know what to do. They have no answers. They're just going to let this thing go on and on and on and on. They rolled the dice. This is evil. It's killing millions already. My work killing over a thousand a day. You can laugh all you want. It's killing over a thousand a day in North America. We're all downwinders. These fake masquerading that call themselves crazy are going to rot in the lowest form of hell. My beautiful uncle raised me. He taught me right from wrong. My father, the atomic veteran. We have a memorial for him. You know, I know their spirits live on somehow, some way. I don't know what the answers are. But I know the difference between right and wrong. And I know that nougat is wrong, Tim Schill, thou mayest. And all you people that say, oh, the tourism economy in San Diego, the tourism economy in California, tourism, we can't report it. You mean by us, oh, we can't report it. Well. Hell holds a very special place for all of you. You don't have to pull the trigger to be freaking the car. The